Hey, it's Pat Ham here, and I have a new shortcut for today, and this is one that I just learned yesterday. And the shortcut is X. Now, yesterday I put out a video talking about having fun with comping, and a lot of that information is still really good. I go through a lot of strategies for how to use the comp editor in Reason, so hopefully you will still find that useful. However, one of the things that I was talking about is using comping as a way to fix the problem of having no crossfade in Reason's main sequencer window. Well, as YouTube user Kaelo, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly, pointed out to me, we do have a crossfade. As of Reason 11, there is a shortcut to crossfade audio in the sequencer. And that shortcut is X. So here's how crossfading works. First, let's have a listen to our audio. All right, so now I want to move this one over so it starts right after this one. So let's hear it again here from the end. Doesn't sound so great. So we press X and it creates our crossfade. The crossfade length, as you can see here, goes to the remaining length of the overlapped clip. So if I were to move this even further in, you'll see that the crossfade will get larger. Once we have the crossfade in place, we can move it around. You'll notice I'm at the edge of the crossfade and I see the double arrow handle. So I can actually move this crossfade around. Now I have snapping on, but if I turn snapping off, I can make it a fine tuned change. So I can make it a really small crossfade. Actually, I think I also want to overlap the audio clip a little bit more. So let's hear how that is and turn snapping back on. That sounds a little bit better. And I can even go in here at the middle of the crossfade and slide it back and forth so that we change the amount of crossfade. Now that's a quick and dirty example, but hopefully that is helpful. Again, thanks to user Kaelo. Again, sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Thank you for keeping me honest. I'm really, really grateful that you showed me this. And uh, now I am really happy that I can crossfade in the Reason Sequencer. So that's your shortcut for the day. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or let me know if I made any other mistakes. I appreciate that as well. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.